सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृति प्राणा महालयं करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मीति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम सहनाव सहनौ नक्त सह वीरकै तेजस्वीतमस्तमा वै ये ओं शातिशाशाति यो ब्रह्माण विधा पूर्व वेदाग्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तुम हेवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरण प्रपज्ये ओं शातिशाशाति सूत्र इंट्रोडक्शन पूर्व रूपोपन्यास प्रसंगात्रैलोक्य देही वैश्वानर अत्र स्मृत विचार्य प्रसंग संगत सो वॉट हेज बीन सेट सो फार इज इन दि अर्यर सूत्र रूपोपन्यासाच दि वैश्वानर विद्या इज डिस्कस देर Who is this Vaishwanara? It has to be the Paramatma Tattva itself. Why? Because Agnir Murtha Chakshushi Chandra Suryo. This was discussed. Now, this Rupa Upanyasa Prasanga, this Sutra, in the context of that Sutra, what we have seen is that Trilokya Dehi, where the three lokas are the Upasya Devatas Deha Sharira. due to this reason that vaishwanara who is upasya has to be paramatma because the jiva cannot have three lokas as his deha so purvam rupopanyasa prasangat in that context of the earlier sutra the trilokya dehi vaishwanara is paramatma now it has been recalled here the same thing that अत्र अस्मिन् सूत्रे अस्त्र सूत्रे सह विचार्यते सिंस दिस नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज डीलिंग विद दि मंत्र विच रिमाइंड्स अस ऑफ दैट वेरी वैश्वानर नाउ दैट वैश्वानर इज इंक्वाइर्ड इन टू फर्दर इंक्वाइर्ड इन टू एज टू इज इट रियली राइट दैट That Trilokya Dehi, Vaishwanara is Paramatma there. The same Trilokya Dehi should be here as well as the meaning of the Vaishwanara Shabda. इति प्रसंग संगत्या इधर मारा. In the context, this sutra has come up in a similar context. Yadva, otherwise, what is another संगति? Yadva, purvam upakramastha adrishyatvadi sadharana dharmasya. Yadva. पूर्व उपक्रमस्थ अदृश्यवादी साधारण धर्म से वाक्यशेषस्थ सर्वज्ञत्वादिंग ब्रह्मनिष्ठत्व मुक्त और अर्लियर वॉट हेज बीन डन उपक्रमस्थ अदृश्यवादी साधारण धर्म से उपास्य देवताया उपास्य देवस्य अदरवाइज उपास्य से दि उपास्य इन दि उपक्रम In the Upakrama mantra, the Upasya who is discussed there in that context, in the in that section of the Chandogya Upanishad, Upakramastha Upasya has been talked about as having adrishyatvadi dharmas. This adrishyatvam is common between Paramatma as well as Pradhana, Prakriti, Abhyakta. 
अव्यक्ते इज ऑल्सो अदृश्य सो प्रधान विच ऑल्सो हैज अदृश्य धर्म अदृश्यत्वादी धर्म अदर गुण इज ऑल्सो देर विच आर कॉमन अक्रॉस दी बोर्ड अक्रॉस दी बोर्ड और अदर नॉट अक्रॉस दी बोर्ड बिकॉज इट डज नॉट अप्लाई टू एवरीथिंग बट Across the Puro Pakshi's claim and the Siddhanti scheme. That's what I mean. So Paramatma as well as Prakriti, Pradhana has Adrishyatvadi gunas. Therefore they are Sadharana. Sadharana across Puro Pakshi and the Siddhanti. Puro Pakshi is Pradhana and Siddhanti is Paramatma. So Upakramascha Dharmas are Adrishyatvadi which are Sadharana. then as you go further into the section of the upanishad upanishad vakya sheshastha what are the vakya sheshastha dharmas the entire section in that upanishad will have ek vakya because they'll be having a tat having the same tatparya the tatparya is the upasana with the पर्टिक्युलर उपास्य विषय विद दि पर्टिक्युलर अधिकारी एज उपास उपासकोर दे आर अ सिंगल वाक्य सो देर इज अ वाक्य शेष हियर इन दि उपक्रम परमात्मा और प्रधान बोथ कैन बी हैविंग दीज धर्मा अदृश्यत्वादी देर फोर वन मे कंक्लूड वन वे और दि अदर सो देर इज अ वाक्य शेष विच विल make the upasya as clear so vakya sheshastha sarvajnyatvadi lingena sarvajnyatva linga sarvajnyatvadi there are other dharmas which are discussed further in the same upanishad section where sarvajnyatva is been discussed and such dharmas which point to not pradhana achetana pradhana but only to chetana paramatma सर्वज्ञत्वम इज पॉसिबल ओनली फॉर इन द केस ऑफ परमात्मा एंड आदि शब्द देन वी हैव सीन एट द एंड ऑफ द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट योगी में से सर्वज्ञत्व इज देयर फॉर सिद्धि अटेंड योगी सो वन हु हैज अटेंड सिद्धि दैट सिद्ध पुरुष और सिद्ध योगी कैन हैव सर्वज्ञत्व बट सर्वविद्वत्वम इज नॉट पॉसिबल नोइंग एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल इज नॉट पॉसिबल देयरफॉर these vakya sheshastha sarvajnyatvaadi dharmas become a linga to indicate brahmanishtatvam only of the section the upasya is only brahma paramatma therefore upakramastha adrishyatvaadi sadharana dharmasya vakya sheshastha sarvajnyatvaadi lingena brahmanishtatvam uktam purvam earlier tadvat similarly now we have to analyze the upakrama vakya and the vakya shesha what all dharmas are discussed therefore puro pakshi has a different claim he says you apply the same rule that you applied in the earlier sutra and then in these mantras also you try whether your parmatma conclusion is right for the vaishvanara shabda as upasya tadvat atra api upakramastha sadharana vaishvanara shabdasya वाक्य शेषस्थ होमाधारिंग जाठर निष्ठत्मस्तु दृष्टांत संगत्यादमाशानी Let to Paramatma there in the earlier section, but here in this section, if you apply that analysis, then tadvat atra api upakramastha sadharana vaishvanara shabdasya. This vaishvanara shabda, which is sadharana to not pradhana earlier, the adrishyatvadi gunas were sadharana to pradhana and Ishvara, Brahma. Now, sadharana vaishvanara shabda, the vaishvanara shabda itself is used. Rudi artha for vaishvanara shabda is what? It can be jatharakni also, and it can be virat purusha also, who is paramatma. Now, your claim says the 
पूर्व पक्षी द ड्यूअर प्रेम इज परमात्मा एज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वैश्वानर शब्द बट इट कैन ऑल्सो बी जाट जाट रग्नि एज पर द उपक्रमस्थ साधारण वैश्वानर शब्द नाउ वाक्य शेषस्थ यू हैव टू लुक एट लाइक यू लुक दैट इन द अर्लियर सेक्शन सर्वज्ञत्वादि लिंगस टोल्ड यू दैट इज परमनिष्ठा शब्द इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द धर्मास बिलोंग टू परमात्मा ओनली नाउ हियर वाक्य शेषा इज होमाधारा वाक्य शेषस्त होमाधारत्व लिंगे न दी होम आधारा के नॉट बी परमात्मा क्लेम्स दी पूर्व पक्षी ही सेज इट हैज टू बी जाट रग्नि बिकॉज योर नित्य अग्निहोत्र इन दी भोजन भोजन इज एन अग्निहोत्र कर्म सो वेन यू आफ्टर यज्ञोपयुत धारण इवन अ ब्रह्मचारी इज एलिजिबल टू डू दैट अग्निहोत्र इट इज इक्वल इन टू अग्निहोत्र कंसिडर्ड एज अग्निहोत्र बिकॉज आहुति इज गिवन टू दी वैश्वानर अग्नि विच इज जाटर अग्नि दी फर्स्ट फोर ऑफरिंग देर प्राणावति दी प्राणाग्निहोत्र वॉट इज कॉल एज प्राणाग्निहोत्र सो दी आहुतीज आर गिवन सिक्स आहुतीज आर गिवन बट एनी वे वन आहुति इज गिवन इन सम प्लेसेस लिट से वन आहुति इज गिवन डू यू एग्री दैट अ सिंगल आहुति इज गिवन विच इज दी फर्स्ट टू बी ऑफर्ड वेन एवर दी अन्न इज कुड समबडी हू इज डूइंग नित्य प्राण अग्निहोत्र he should be eating first the discussion will come up later i'll just um, give some information in the beginning itself now itself it may come up later the context there is during the bhojana elsewhere it will come up as to when the food is cooked one who is following the atithi dharma meaning feeding the atithis as the part of grahastha dharma grahastha should not be eating if somebody is hungry around his house so earlier they used to go out and ask they used to cook more go out and ask if anybody is hungry so panchamha yagna it is part of that and if a, if somebody is hungry then that atithi should be fed first so in the in this context somewhere uh, in a similar context somewhere else in the brahma sutra there is a discussion as to should this grahastha now who is doing prana agni hotri uh, who is doing prana agni hotra grahastha or anyone who is doing prana agni hotra should he feed the uh, atithi first or should he offer ahuti to the jatra agni first because it is uh, prathama anna is homiya anna first one should be offered anywhere in any puja karya it, first thing is offered as nevidya and then prasada is to be taken you don't feed anyone else even if there is a guest so anyway uh, the reason i brought this up is there is a discussion like this in some context of the sutra now the prathama anna is homiya that is homiya to what to vaishwanara agni the vaishwanara shabda is sadharana so in the upakrama the vaishwanara shabda was sadharana to virat paramatma as well as the jeeva gata jatra agni the jeeva jeeva is the adhara if you speak specifically then jatra agni देर फोर वाक्य शेषस्थ होम आधार दिस होम आधार बिकम्स अ लिंग फॉर मेकिंग अ क्लिंचिंग आर्ग्युमेंट दैट दी अर्लियर उपक्रमस्थ साधारण वैश्वान शब्द इज नो लॉन्गर साधारण विशेष इज वॉट विशेष इज नाउ होम आधार देर फोर यू हेव टू री इंटरप्रिटेड एज नॉट परमात्मा बट जीव और जीवगत वैश्वान जाठर आग्नि देर फोर तद्वत्र उपक्रम से साधारण वैश्वर शब्द से वाक्य शेषस्थ होमाधारिंग जाठर निष्ठत्व अस्तु अर्लियर ब्रह्म निष्ठत्व इन दी अर्लियर सूत्र कॉन्टेक्स्ट बट नाव जाठर निष्ठत्व अस्तु से पूर्वपक्षी दृष्टा संगत्या 
Thereby the Vaishvanara Adhikaranam has come up. Here, Vaishvanara Sadharana Shabda Visheshat, Vaishvanara Sadharana Shabda Visheshat is the first sutra. So, Vaishvanara Sadharana Shabda Visheshat. No padachida to do there. Now here, um, Vaishvanaraha is Brahma. So Brahma is the Anurti there. Vaishvanaraha, Brahma eva, Paramatma eva. Why? Sadharana Shabda Visheshat. Sadharana Shabda Yoho Visheshat. What is the Vishesha among the Sadharana Shabdas? There are two Sadharana Shabdas used here. In the mantras we look at. There is usage of Vaishwanara and Atma also. Atmanam evevam Vaishwanaram. So we will just look at these sections. I was, earlier I was looking at all the Bhashya. But then it will slow us down. I will have a lot of work to do to edit the document again. So I will try to avoid you know editing the document again. I have to keep on publishing, updating the PDF. I keep on forgetting. Um, we will just look at uh, the Vritti and keep the Pata simple. If at all there is some scope to study the Bhashya, we will see when we see. So, Atra Puropakshe Jatra Dehe Upastihi. This Vaishwanara Shabda, which has been used in the mantra, and Atma Shabda also. There, Vaishwanara also has sadharan application, meaning it has multiple meanings, what we already saw. So, Vaishwanara has sadharana, sadharana Shabda, it is a sadharana Shabda, because it has application in the case of. Puropakshi's claim as well as Siddhanti's claim. This Atma Shabda also. Atma can be Paramatma also, Jivatma also. Therefore, Atma Shabda is also a Sadharana Shabda. Now, between these two Sadharana Shabdas, Vaishwanara Sadharana and Atma Sadharana. Between these two Sadharana Shabdas, meaning Shabdas having Sadharana Artha common across the Puropaksha and Siddhanta, what is the Vishesha that will apply to the context? In the context, if you have analyzed, what is the Vishesha which will make complete sense, meaning Vaishwanara also we interpreted right and Atma also apply appropriately. That is the Vishesha. And this Vaishwanara, if it is Paramatma, then only the Atma Shabda will also make sense says the Siddhanti and that is the Sutra. Vaishwanaraha Brahma Paramatma Eva Kutaha Sadharana Shabda Yoho Vaishwanara Atmano Ho Sadharana Shabda Yoho Iti Shabda Yoho Visheshat There is a Vaishishtya possible which is applicable in that context rightly only when you say this Vaishwanara is Paramatma says the Siddhanti. So that is the Sutra Artha Atra Puro Pakshe Jatra Dehe Upasti. The Jatra Agni is Upasya as per the Puro Paksha. Why we saw that in the Sangati? Siddhante Brahmana iti Parabeda. Siddhante Brahmana kim Brahmana Upasti iti Parabeda. There is one, this is Upasana only, but Brahma is, is Upasya Devata there, meaning Paramatma is Upasya, not Jatra Agni, says the Siddhanti. Chandogya Vaishwanar Vidyayam in the Vaishwanar Vidya Chandogya Operation Kona Atma Kim Brahma Iti Atmanam Yeve Vaishwanaram Iti Cha Upakramya Amna Yate Yastu Etam Yevam Pradesh Amatram Abhivimanam Atmanam Vaishwanar Upas Te Tyadi. So there Kona Kaha. Kaha na, naha atma kim brahma naha atma asmakam atma kim brahma what is atma what is brahma this inquiry when it is done iti atmana meva vaishwanaram this vaishwanara vaishwanara is atma and the upasana is in that manner so asmakam atma kaha Kim Brahma, what is Brahma in that inquiry? Atmanam eva imam vaishwanaram 
so there is you have to recollect that says the uttara in the that inquiry and this is the upakrama iti cha upakramya amnayate further what does this shruti say it says yah tu etam evam pradesha matram abhivimanam atmanam vaishwanaram upaste one who does this upasana in this manner which manner in the manner described as to pradesha matram there is a pradesha matra elsewhere can mean angushta matra purusha that in hridayascha angushta matra paramatma here some other part of the body has been explained so starting from the murdha to the um, the part of the face so some part of the face there that is also pradesha matra basically a small part of the body there in that part whether it is jatragni or hridaya akasha or part of the face whatever it is as per the upasana there some part of the body is explained as where parmatma should be meditated upon is upasya the entity which is upasya is vaishwanara whether it is parmatma or not we'll see but vaishwanara should be seen in this manner atmanam eva imam vaishwanaram iti cha upakramya amnayati yastu etam evam pradesha matram abhivimanam atmanam vaishwanaram upaste so abhivimanam there has a meaning of one who is aparoksha aparoksha and aparoksha in this manner who is in a form of the world also so vishwarupa therefore vaishwanara vaishwanara is vishwarupa there aparoksha ityadi tatra kim vaishwanara ha jatragni hi uta bhutagni hi uta adityadi devata aho sharira ha aho swit parmeshwara iti vishaye now so many possibilities are there vaishwanara shabda is sadharana not only to two so that across the board is this jatragni is also called as vaishwanara agni bhutagni is to vaishwanara agni because vaishwanara is vishwa sambandhi in the vishwa whichever is has the possibility of doing vaishwanara in the vishwa what can be that which can take the ahutis also that all of that will be included so jatragni hi bhutagni hi meaning bhutagni is the laukika agni uta aditya adi devata because aditya devata all these some of these devatas also have the capacity to burn have jalana so that they have agni roopa so aditya adi devata is also possible as a meaning for vaishwanara shabda aho shariraha sharira jeeva also sharira jeeva can be agni has jatra agni so aadhara for bhuma Aushit Parmeshwara, otherwise Parmeshwara can be the meaning Virat Purusha who is Vaishwanara. Iti vishaye when such samshaya comes up, Jatra adhi hi thi Purva Paksha. Purva Paksha is concluded Jatra agni because the Vakya Shesha Linga shows that it is Homa Adhara and therefore neither, so therefore Aho Shari Raha, Shari Raha Jeeva or Jatra agni. So, this sharira is jiva but in the jiva there is jatragni unto which there is homi anna offered therefore this jatragni becomes the adhara and the meaning of vaishwanara shabda jatradi iti purva paksha siddhantastu vaishwanara paramatma eva siddhanti says no jatragni is not the meaning of vaishwanara shabda there he is not the upasya paramatma is upasya kutaha what is the reason साधारण शब्द विशेष साधारण शब्द यो विशेष तस्मात देर इज अ विशेष अमांग दि साधारण शब्द वैश्वानारायण आत्मा वेन यू लुक इन टू बोथ प्रॉपरली एंड टेक वॉट इज कॉमन वॉट इज पर्टिक्युलर मीनिंग ऑफ वैश्वानर शब्द विच इज पर्टिक्युलर टू दि साधारण आत्म शब्द ऑल्सो देन अलोन दि Entire section will make sense as a tatpariya vishaya being single entity. There will be no confusion as to 
whether it is jhatharagni or bhutagni ityadi that is he to jhathara bhuta agnyadi jhathara bhuta agnyadi devatasu if you take the meaning of jhathara agni bhuta agni adityadi devata ityadi so jhathara bhuta agni adityadi devatasu bhuta agni jhathara bhuta agni adityadi devatasu sadharana vaishwara shabda vaishwara can mean any of these then atma shabda जीव परमात्मनो हो साधारण आत्मशब्द दि आत्मशब्द विच हेज बीन यूज इन सामनाधिकरण्यम विथ वैश्वान दैट इज कॉमन टू जीव एंड परमात्मा सो वैश्वान शब्द कैन मीन जाठराग्नि भूताग्नि आदित्यादि देवताज ऑल्सो एंड आत्मशब्द कैन मीन जीव जीवात्मा परमात्मा एंड बोथ आर इन सामनाधिकरण्यम तय वैश्वान आत्मशब्द उभयत्र साधारण और अपनी सतो हो परमात्मा परत्वे एवं विशेषा अवगम्य थे। The विशेषा can be known the particular meaning of both put together as one entity as having विशेषण विशेष भाव, विशेषण विशेष भाव और pointing to the same entity it will make sense only when they both mean परमात्मा that समान अधिकरण समान अधिकरण दैट अधिकरण फॉर बोथ दिस वैश्वान शब्द एंड आत्म शब्द दैट पदार्थ शुड बी वन देन दे आर समान अधिकरण एंड दे हैव बीन यूज्ड सो द दैट हैज टू बी द अर्थ हैज टू बी परमात्मा ओनली परमात्मा परत्वे एव मीनिंग परमात्मा अर्थ अलोन विल मेक सेंस फॉर दिस टू शब्द व्हिच हैव साधारण मीनिंग्स अदरवाइज विशेष हैज टू बी परमात्मा अलोन Why? तस्य हवा एतस्य वैश्वानरस्य मूर्धे सर्वात्मक परमात्म परत्वे विशेष अवगम्य बिकॉज वन मंत्र शोज दिस वेरी क्लियरली तस्य हवा एतस्य आत्मन दिस आत्मा विच इज टॉक्ड अबाउट एज बीइंग वैश्वान This Atman Vaishwanaram Upasthe. Who is that Atma? Who is that Vaishwanara? That Atma Tasya Hava indeed. Prasiddha Artha Ha is there and then Vai is indeed. Etasya Atmana. This Atma which is to be meditated upon as Vaishwanara. Or sorry, Atma who is Vaishwanara who is to be meditated upon in this Pradesha Matra. तस्य वैश्वानरस्य आत्मनः वैश्वानरस्य ऑफ दैट आत्मा ऑफ दैट वैश्वानर आत्मा मूर्धा एव सुतेजा इत्यादौ मूर्धा इ सुतेजा उक्त द्यू मूर्धत्वादिहि सुतेजा द्यू इज दैट स्वर्गलोक अगेन सेम काइंड ऑफ एन एनालिसिस हैज टू बी डन नॉट ओनली बेस्ड ऑन उपक्रम एंड Being upakrama, upakramastha, meaning refined by the vakya shesha, that is not the only process. You have to see whether that kind of a refinement makes sense in the context. Otherwise, upakramastha linga will hold. Upakramastha dharmas will hold if the refinement by the vakya shesha leads to a conclusion. which is not real refinement that meaning is erroneous so in the earlier case of the rupopanyasaacha sutra there the vakya shesha refined the meaning of the upakramascha artha where the meaning was applicable and it fit the context properly now this meaning is not applying properly therefore you cannot do the same analysis we did in the earlier sutras context says the siddhanti tasya va etasya atmana vaishwanarasya murdha eva sutejaha ityadu ukta dhyu murdatvadihi sarvatmat sarvatmat sarvatmaka sarvatmaka paramatma paratva eva vishesha avagamyate so sarvatmaka paramatma paratve eva 
only when that atma and vaishwanra meaning are paramatma para who is sarvatmaka who can be there in yathara also as gomadara in each and every jiva in each and every sharira jiva in bhutagni also and in jatragni also who can manifest being sarma, sarvatma then only sarve atma yasya one way or he is all he is sarvatma swarupa so sarvatmaka parmatma paratve eva vishesha avagamyate tayoho shabdayo sadharana shabdayo vaishvanara atma iti sadharana shabdayo vishesha kada avagamyate sarvatmaka parmatma paratve eva only when the meaning is parmatma why upaparna taratvat you may be able to explain some logicality there say the siddhanti to the purva pakshi but it will i will give you a tenability which is better than your interpretation so upaparna taratvat it is the most sensible analysis the most sensible mimamsa will be only when the vishesha among the sadharanas is paramatma as the artha tasmat vaishwanara paramatma eva na jatra jatra agni is not the meaning of vaishwanara in that section yes it is used we agree that in some context it will apply in karma kanda also it will apply where uh, the prana agni utra is talked about they are all it, it is the same jatra agni by extension we will argue there also paramatma is uh, is really the yajna vai vishnu so we will say that yajna is also vishnu we will say um, you know all of that is vishnu but then the agni the yajna the yajna aadhara all that is vishnu brahma arpan brahma vir ityadi but that will be by extension when you are doing the homa you will not be offering to paramatma manifest elsewhere it will be only in the jatra agni so there jatra agni meaning will, will apply appropriately here in this upasana section however it is not so who is upasya he is paramatma alone so when you are offering to jatra agni also it is only the paramatma who you are offering to tasmat vaishvanara paramatma eva na jatra चरम श्रुत होमाधारेक्षा प्रथम श्रुत जूमूर्धत्वाधारण धर्म हियर ऑलो तदवत् वाई नॉट सो What is the answer to that? Charma shruta homa. Charma shruta is vakya shesha or the end, towards the end. Whatever is heard is what homa adhar. So charma shruta homa adhar atwa is superior says the puro pakshi. There the answer is no. Tada pekshaya. Charma shruta homa adhar atwa apekshaya. Prathama shruta jhumurda atwa der bala atwa. It is siddham. The earlier upakramastha dharmas are are stronger are stronger indicators than the charma shruta adharatva dharma because adharatva alone cannot show that it is jatra agni otherwise jhumurdatva will all fall apart all these dharmas cannot apply to jatra agni jatra agni does not have its murdha we don't even know any murdha for jatra agni we cannot imagine swarga as murdha of jatra agni jatragni agni there or jatragni bhutagni uh, jeeva all these meanings will fall apart as vaishwanara shabda applying to this upasana where you have ju as its murdha but parmatma if you look at as the meaning of vaishwanara shabda then all this will fall into place therefore siddham The next sutra is introduced by saying smrutya cha shrutyartha shakyo nirnayetu ityah even if you hold on to your confusion says the siddhanti to the purva pakshi use this smruti if you still have confusion regarding the shruti if the shruti meaning is clear let's move on but if the shruti meaning is not clear one 
at one place you think it is vaishwanara at other uh, vaishwanara means paramatma and another place you think that vaishwanara means jatragni and therefore there are two different upasanas if this is the thinking it will be a inconclusive confusion rather therefore you look at smruti how smruti shows it only when there is a there is no clarity in leading to conclusion in the shruti mantra interpretations or it is upasana sections where two different mantras do not point to the same artha tatpare vishaya is different then you use smruti smrutya cha shruti arthah shakya nirnayatum what is the meaning of the shruti can be ascertained only when there is confusion by looking into smruti so through this smruti what do you get smarya manam anumanam syaditi smarya manam anumanam syat anumanam syaditi so smarya manam anumanam syat iti that is the padacheda so smarya manam what is smarya manam here whatever is recollected in the shruti as the meaning of the shruti the smruti created by the rishi is based on the shruti and whatever is the conclusion in the shruti has gone into the smruti in simpler words compared to the vaidika shabdas and everyone has adhikara in smruti therefore upasana can be understood there vaishwanara shabdasya paramatma paratve smaryamanam yasya agnir asyam yor mur this should be murda yor murdhakam ityadi smrutyukta trilokyatmakam roopam anumanam syat why am i going to before explain the sutra because anumanam has a different meaning anumanam syat is anumapakam lingam syat ityartha anumanam here is an indicator it is not an inference per se but then an anumapakam it is that which allows you to interpret something so it's a linga lingam syat ityartha the meaning of meaning of linga there so smaryamanam anumanam syat asmine varthe that paramatma is the meaning of vaishwanaraha shabda vaishwanara shabda because what does it say yasya vaishwanarasya atmanah agnihi asyam jau murdha kham ityadi so all the parts have been compared in upasana they have been compared with some features being similar and then this is how you do the upasana swarga is the murdha ityadi so when that kind of uh, upasana is discussed in smriti also then how can you erroneously conclude that is jatragni so what we have given that meaning is the most appropriate it is upapannatara says the siddhanti again by quoting smriti also even just smrto parmeshwarasya uktatvat parmeshwarasya eva uktatvat the parmeshwara has been mentioned there by talking about jiv murda ityadi tanmoola bhuta shrutau vidyamana vaishwana shabda paramatma para eva iti tatparyam why are we showing this smriti because since it is clearly shown in this smriti that parmeshwara is the meaning of vaishwana shabda therefore what is the moola bhuta shruti is vaishwana shabda meaning it has to be the same one because from wherever this smriti has derived the vaishwanara's meaning as parmeshwara that moola shruti should also have the same meaning for vaishwana shabda tan moola bhuta shruta also in that shruti also vidyamana vaishwana shabda vaishwana shabda which is present there in the shruti that will also have the same meaning which the smriti kara has interpreted parmatma par eva iti tatparyam that is the idea here sutre iti shabda hetau iti is hetu so what is the meaning there of the sutra that is given in the end of the uh, the vritti there as yasma devam iti means yasmat yasmat karanat evam lingam asti since there is this smaryamana anumana meaning smriti linga is there tasmad vaishwanarah paramatma eva iti siddham the shruti gata vaishwanara shabda is paramatma alone that is the conclusion using both shruti and smriti the vaishwanara shabda
for upasana in that chandogya shruti also means paramatma alone not jatragni this has been concluded siddhanta vidhim vidhantarena akshipya samadatu ah now there is a different kind of an akshepa whereby the siddhanta is brought out what is the akshepa here शब्दादिभ्युवंत प्रतिष्ठाचने चेन्न तथा दृष्टिपदेशमी चयन अधीये शब्दादिभ्युवंत प्रतिष्ठाचने चेन्न तथा दृष्टिपदेशमी चयन अधीये शब्दादिभ्य अंत प्रतिष्ठाची चेत न तथा तथा कैन बी सपरेट ऑलसो and then it is tatha drishti upadeshat or together is better tatha drishti upadeshat in that manner there is drishti upadesha therefore tas, tasmat asambhavat purusham api cha enam ajiyate so multiple hetus are given shabdadibhya the shabdas which are the shabdas the vaishwanar shabda वैश्वान और शब्द शब्द आदि देर आर अदर वर्ड्स ऑल्सो यूज देर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मीनिंग इट इज नॉट नेसेसरली ओनली वैश्वान और शब्द देर अदर शब्द आज ऑल्सो विच हैव साधारण मीनिंग्स जस्ट लाइक दी सिद्धांत ही टुक दी आत्म शब्द इन सामान आदि कर्णम इन दी उपासना विथ वैश्वान और इंटरप्रिटेड अ मीनिंग अनदर आक्षेप कैन बी वाई कॉन्ट यू टेक वैश्वान और समथिंग एल्स For example, Hrudayam Garha Patya. So Garha Patya Agni is Homi Agni also. Hrudayam is used there. In the Hrudaya, you look at that Agni as Garha Patya Agni, where Homa is done. So that is the meaning of Adi Shabd. So Vaishwanara, and then there is the other words are there. Hrudayam Garha Patya. All these do not mean Paramatma. See the Puru Pakshi. Therefore, Shabdadi Bhya due to. प्रेजेंट पुरुषा Within the Purusha is not your Paramatma. It is this Jatra Agni or Hridaya, Hridaya, Garha Patya Agni. All these show that Vaishwanara can mean something other than Paramatma. It can be Shari Ra. It can mean uh, Bhuta Agni. It can mean within the Purusha. When you say, then it cannot mean Bhuta Agni, but it can definitely mean the Jatra Agni. So Shabdadi Bhya Antaf Pratishtana Cha. Due to the shabdas and also due to the word antaha in the pratishthana mantra, the pratishthitam veda. See this in the purusha, within the purusha. Know this vaishvanara to be present, and then there is a upasana, hridayam garha patya. Therefore, due to the shabdas and another he to antaf pratishthana cha says the puro pakshi. Na na what vaishvanara shabda. परमात्मा परान परन वैश्वानर शब्द डज नॉट मीन परमात्मा और देर कैन बी अदर वर्ड्स ऑल्सो आदि शब्द है ना प्राणाय स्वाहा व्यानाय स्वाहा इत्यादि युडू प्राण अग्नि होत्र सो देर फोर शब्दादि भिहा ड्यू टू दोस शब्दाज ऑल्सो जीवा इस अंतफ प्रतिष्ठाना च Within the purusha is jiva atma. Within the sharira of the purusha, there is jiva. Sharira can be the meaning there. Therefore, what na means what? Vaishwana or shabdartha paramatma na bhoti. Iti chet. If this be the objection, this much is puro paksha. Na is the siddhanta. Na that is not right. Why so? Na tatha. Then tatha drishti upadesha. There is a drishti upadesha. There is upasana upadesha. Do it in this manner. It is not literally so. There is no literal homi agni within the sharira. Purushay antah pratishtha naat. If you say, then 
within the purusha literally there is no agni like that it is an upasana you have to imagine so now when you imagine so that imagination can be paramatma also it need not be only this uh, agni which is literally you think there is literally there is agni there is no literal agni so pranaya swaha apanaya swaha all these that you are offering to the homi agni within is basically offered to paramatma there says this siddhanti tatha drushti upadeshat such drishti has to be maintained so drishti darshana drishti is darshana darshanasya meaning upasanaya upadeshat tatha drishti तथा दृष्टि उपासना तस्य उपदेशात दैट कैंड ऑफ टीचिंग ऑफ उपासना हैज बीन गिवन देन असंभवात व्हाई असंभवात वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन द हेतु इन द अर्लियर सूत्र सेज द सिद्धांति असंभवात द मूर्धायाः स्वर्गत्वेन जु इत्यादिना ऑल दिस मूर्धा इत्यादेह व्हाट हैज टू बी इमेजिन सो मूर्धा इत्यादे स्वर्ग जीव मीन स्वर्ग स्वर्ग स्वर्गादित्वेन असंभवाच्च दैट इज द मीनिंग देयर यू कैन नॉट हैव द मीनिंग ऑफ जाठराग्नि अगेन और विच एवर यू आर इमेजिनिंग विद इन दुरुषा यू कैन नॉट हैव द इमेजिनेशन फर्दर एज मूर्धा इज स्वर्ग विच हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डिस्कस सो देर फोर even if you interpret using a different samanadikarane different words in samanadik you can show vaishwara shabda is hrudayam garhapatya purushe antah pratishtita all this even then all the earlier words will fall apart because paramatma is sarvagata sarvarupi he can be imagined in any form but you cannot have jatharagni imagined in a form where it has uh, swarga as its murda ityadi you cannot have uh, you know virat swarupa vishwarupa of the 11th chapter of gita for jatharagni it has to be for paramatma only it cannot be for jiva also limited jiva so upasana also should have some sense there should be some commonality or some possibility of an upasana in that manner shruti cannot just say do this you will get phala it is not possible to imagine in that manner the sections which are talking about the same upasana they all have to come together in a tatpurya vishaya you cannot have different tatpuryas and segments of upasanas which will not come about as a single upasana this is the problem with puru pakshi's interpretation of vaishwana shabda multiple ways none of these will go in sync with other upasanas of vaishwanara section vaishwan upasana therefore asambhava is the dosha there in the upasana interpretation by puru pakshi purusham api cha enam adhiyate and then purusha shabda is used there purusham api not purushe antah pratishtitam but purusham the purusha should be this vaishwan atmanam vaishwanaram purusham there is there are two shakas adhiyate cha enam adhiyate who are those so um, vajas vajasaniyena so the followers of the vedas of vajasaniya shaka they have what purusham api cha enam vaishwanaram vajasaniyena adhiyate मैनर दट सो 
पुरुषम च एनम पुरुषम अपि च एनम वैश्वानरम अधियते द पुरुषा ही दिन सामान आदि करने में तो वैश्वानरा पुरुषे अंतः प्रतिष्ठित में इस सेम पुरुषा विच इन दिस शारीरक शारीरक का पुरुषा इन दिस नॉट शारीरक का शरीर इन दिस शरीर और शरीर का तो पुरुषा जो कि इनसे शारीरक पुरुषा और सो अंतः ही उस हुज इस दी परवा पुरुषा दैट इस दी अंदर पुरुषा इस पुरुषा इस अनदर पुरुषा हुज देर हु इस दी परमात्मा पुरुषा पुरुषा वर्ड इस कॉमन अगेन साधारण ना फॉर जीवा एस वेल एस परमात्मा बट पुरुषे पुरुषा पुरुषे पुरुषा विधम वैश्वानरम इफ यू से अग्निम वैश्वानरम सो एतम ये वा अग्निम दिस अग्नि इज वैश्वानर अग्नि विच इज पुरुषा विधा अग्नि विच इज पुरुषा विधा वैश्वानरा सो दैट अग्नि इज वैश्वानरा आ आल्सो आत्मा विच हैज गोन बाय अर्लियर एंड इज पुरुषा विधा ही इज आल्सो टाइप ऑफ पुरुषा पुरुषा विधा मींस व्हाट ही इज आल्सो पुरुषा सो ही इज आल्सो पुरुषा विद इन अ पुरुषा मींस व्हाट इट इज नॉट जीवा हु इज विद इन जीवा इट इज परमात्मा हु इज विद इन जीवा इट इज वेरी क्लियर इफ यू लुक एट द अदर शाखा You need not stick on to only one. You, if you are unable to conclude well, look at other shakas. How do how do they chant this mantra? What is exactly the meaning there? And all of these should come together. You cannot have a different upasya in another shaka with a part of Veda. You cannot have meaning. You cannot have Jatragni in one shaka, and you cannot have Paramatma in another shaka. It has to be Paramatma all over. Or Jatragni all over. Jatragni all over is definitely not making sense in the same shaka. Also, it is not making sense. Now, if you look at another shaka, another patha, you see that Purusha has been mentioned in Samanadi Kranam. Not Purusha is Saptani only, but another Purusha is there. Purusha Vidha is there. Who is Vaishwanara? It has to be only Paramatma. So now, since we have seen part of Vritti, also we can go faster. शब्द स्तावत वैश्वान शब्द न परमात्म पर दी वैश्वान शब्द इज नॉट परमात्म पर पूर्व पक्षी जाठरादो रूढ़वा बिकॉज रूढ़ी अर्थ इज जाठराग्नि एंड रूढ़ी अर्थ इज वॉट रूढ़ी रूढ़ी यौगिकात बलियसी दि रूढ़ी अर्थ इज स्ट्रांगर दैन दि A stronger pramana. The rudi artha is a stronger pramana to interpret the meaning as compared to the yogi artha, meaning the derived meaning. With vyakrana, you can derive. Use you can use the dhatu. You can show prati padika and how that prati padika is derived as krudanta, tadhita, etc. You can do all of that. But still, if the rudi artha is different, then rudi artha will hold hold good. Says the purva pakshi. So jatra adu ruda tva and rudi is rudi artha of jatra agni for vaishvana ra. Will trump your Paramatma meaning of Vaishwanara is a claim by the Puro Pakshi. Adi Shabd Jane Hridayam Garya Pat Garha Patyaha Ittya Jagni Tritya Kalpanam Tadyad Bhaktam Prathamam Agachet Tad Homiyam. So that Prathamam Tadyad Bhaktam Prathamam Agachet. The first one that this Pratham Anna basically the first Anna is what Homiyam. That is to be offered. Ityadina pranahutya dharata sankirtanam cha grichate. So thereby pranahuti, pranayaswaha ityadi mantras show that there is adharatva of this vaishwanara in the pranagni mantra. Eti bhyahetu bhyah jatra eva vaishwanara. Therefore, Puro Pakshi says that the jatra agni alone is vaishwanara, shabda meaning. किंच अंत प्रतिष्ठान पुरुषे अंत प्रतिष्ठित वेद इति वैश्वान से अंत प्रतिष्ठान श्रवण जाठर एव वैश्वान न परमात्मा इति चेत सिद्धांति मिल से न एंड बिकॉज विद इन दि पुरुषा देर इज अंत प्रतिष्ठित दिस वैश्वान इज विद इन दि पुरुषा ड्यू टू दोज वर्ड्स अंत प्रतिष्ठान अंत प्रतिष्ठित दोज वर्ड्स मीनिंग अंत प्रतिष्ठान श्रवण विद इन दि Purusha, there is Shravana of this Vaishwanara to be within, present within. Therefore, this Vaishwanara is not Paramatma. Only Jatra, Jatra Agni only is the meaning of the Vaishwanara Shabda. Iti chet na Siddhanti says na not so why Kutaha Tatha Drushtiyupadeshat. So there is a teaching of 
दृष्टि इन दैट मैन वॉट इज दृष्टि तथा जाठर रूपेण तथा मीन्स जाठर रूपेण इन दैट जाठर रूप यू हैव टू इमेजिन परमात्मा परमेश्वर से दृष्टे है उपास्ते है उपदेशात दी परमेश्वरा इज बीइंग टॉट देयर एज उपास्य देवता इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ जाठर अग्नि विद इन दी पुरुष इट इज द सेम पुरुष विद परमात्मा हु इज विद इन दी पुरुष इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ जाठर अग्नि एज होम आधार टेकिंग दी प्राणा आउतीस इन दी प्राणा अग्नि उत्तरा दिस इज द मीनिंग देयर ऑफ द उपासना मनोमय इत्यादि वच just like manomaya manomaya is what not mana vikara can be but maya here is is any swarupartha swarthe swarthe maya so mano in the form of maya so jathar rupena paramatma is upasya says the siddhanti what is the example given just like manomaya meaning what mano rupena mana roop so in the form of mana also there is upasana elsewhere or there is a discussion elsewhere so that manomaya purusha if you say then the same purusha is in the form of manas also identified with the manas the purusha is the atma is identified with tadatmya sambandha as manomaya so manomaya shows that in the form of manas similarly jathara rupena parmatma is possible that's one way another way is what athava tatha tasmin jathare in that jathara agni it is not jathara rupa parmeshwara is not jathara agni but within the jathara jathara agni tasmin jathare parmeshwara drushte upadeshat what is the example for that meaning in that jathra agni parmatma is to be imagined and meditated upon upasana is in that manner so parmeshwara drishte upadeshat how just like mano brahma ityupasit iti vat so manaha brahma ityupasit or is there mano rupena but manaha brahma means within the mind you think of brahma <coughs> here it is not in the form of manas manomaya is in the form of mana but mana here should be understood as in the mind in the antakarana vritti is brahma you have to brahma is there in the mind so mana brahma does not mean mind is brahma but in the mind there is brahma that's how this mantra is seen mana brahma iti mano brahma ityupasit iti vat similarly parameshwara drishti has to be in jathara agni not as jatra but in jatra agni this is another possibility but parmatma alone is upasya whether as jatra agni or within jatra agni these interpretations are possible that upasana bheda is possible but who is upasya that upasya is parmatma alone nanu jathare eva vaishvanara mukhyastu tatra ha sambhavad iti if the puro pakshi still insists no the mukhyartha is of vaishvanara is jathara why it is rudi artha if you say so then asambhava dosha will be there asambhavat iti murdha eva sutejah ityade he jathare tavad asambhavat ityartha this has been elaborately explained in the earlier sutra therefore siddhanti says asambhava dosha will this varana cannot be done you cannot take away the asambhava which we have pointed out earlier if you reapply then it is asambhava what has been shown earlier it is not possible now we are saying that it is asambhava if you reinterpret uh, the based on rudi artha if you try to interpret then the jathara meaning as rudi artha will fall apart in the complete analysis there will be asambhava dosha so why murdha eva suteja we have shown murdha eva suteja that murdha is uh, the ju suteja the swarga that meaning will not apply here in the jathra agni's case it's an erroneous interpretation ityade he jathre tavad asambhavad ityartha kincha purusham api cha enam vaishvanaram vajaseniyinah adhiyate the vajaseniya shakas uh, interpretation this manner so those who follow that they have done a proper analysis it is not you know just a uh, one of analysis it is a proper mimamsa 
and they have concluded as what etam eva agnim vaishwanan purusha vidam purushe anta pratishtitam veda iti by that mantra they know that purusha is in purusha vida in the purusha there is purusha vida agni which is vaishwanara and it has to be parmatma only ataha parameshwarasya sarvatmukataya purusha vidatvad purusha vidatvad yupapattehe vaishwanaraha parmatma eva iti siddham therefore parameshwara alone being sarvatmaka sarvatmaka taya mini parameshwara being in the form of sarvatma therefore he can be seen as anyone and in any form and he can be seen anywhere in hrudayakash also jatragni also in the uh, pradesha matra also elsewhere can be anywhere but only parmatma can be seen in that manner jatragni cannot be imagined any any which way because jatragni is not sarvagata even if it is there in uh, all uh, all jivas if you insist that oh, it is there in all jivas yes it is there in all jivas but only in particular forms jatragni can be only jatragni only it cannot be hrudaya hrudaya stay you cannot say so hrudayam garha patyam if you say then there this vaishwanra shabda which you, are, you have interpreted jatragni cannot be in the hrudaya of anyone let alone uh, all you know all jivas not even in a single jiva can you show this jatragni being in the hrudaya akasha so all these Uh, pradesha matra all these uh, meanings won't fit in for vaishwanara upasana only meaning that will fit in, in in all types of vaishwanara mantras is when you interpret the meaning as paramatma ataha parmeshwarasya sarvatmukataya purusha vidatvad yupapatte he this purusha vida is only paramatma not jatragni therefore vaishwanara paramatma eva iti siddham therefore the meaning of the word vaishwanara has to be parmatma all over in these upasanas that we have discussed says the siddhanti we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part amnaya antika samsiddham adi madhyanta varyatam anand ghanam apurnam atma jyote upasmahe om tat sat namaste dhanyavada dhanyavada namaste namaste dhanyavada